in this lecture we will learn about NAT okay or network address translator so what is a network address translator and why is it used so we will answer these questions so let's say we are a small enterprise okay and initially we said that okay we have two IP addresses or let's say four IP addresses we got from an ISP and they were 200.24.5.8 and 5.9, 5.10 and 5.11 so we got four IP addresses and we thought that okay we four group of pe four people were there and we thought that would be sufficient enough to run our office and we all assigned four one one IP addresses to each of our machines then what happens is our business started to boom and we recruited around 200 people okay or let's say just 25 people initially okay in between so what happened is now we had four computers but we have 25 IP addresses we need for 25 computers and let's say after one year we had employed 200 people so we need 200 machines in our office but the thing is we asked our ISP and he said that okay sorry I have already allocated anything before this one or after this one so before this 200.24.5.7 previous to this or 200.24.5.12 anything afterwards they have already been taken so this is a scenario where I'm ready to pay also but I will not get IP addresses because before my IP address range and after my average IP address range everything is taken by other people okay so one problem is this so you have the money then also you cannot buy contiguous IP addresses the next problem is that IP address is a 32 bit number and in fact there are number of people are more than this and so if everyone has a machine then the world population with computers will exceed this 32 bit 2 to the power of 32 so what to do so one thing is ipv6 use 128 bit address which will be sufficient to represent each individual and many times more but for now when we have routers with 32 bit ip address so what they propose is let's say I have just in fact one IP address I have but then also I can have 200 people with individual IP addresses behind and how is that possible it is possible by network address translator so what happens here you can use any private address block so usually you will see in your offices like 172.18.3.1 172.16 these numbers IP addresses you will see so they are private addresses and they are behind the NAT so what happens now I say that okay on my LAN these are the IP addresses okay so on my LAN I can easily communicate with each other because each of us has individual IP address but what happens outside okay for outside world I have just one IP address where other people can send me my packet okay if I send a reply my source address will be 200.24.5.8 okay you cannot use these private IP addresses so what the solution NAT provides is whatever packet inside we are using so they will have source address and destination address from these private IP addresses but if a packet is going out so what you will do is put the source address for any of the packet going outside to other side of internet as 200.24.5.8 okay now you will say that okay so far so good but what the destination will be like if I am contacting Google so it will google.com IP address as the destination okay but now what happens if Google sends you the reply this is a billion dollar question so now what happens I have sent the reply comes back if the source address for the request was 200.24.5.8 
the reply will come back to the NAT router itself and that will be the destination. But this router, how will it know that, okay, which computer had sent from internal area who had sent this request? So they propose a very simple solution. What they say that, okay, 172.18.3.1, this machine sent the request. So it comes to the NAT. I put the source as 200.24.5.8 reply comes back and destination now is the NAT 200.24.5.8 but now it makes a table of so source was this so we have a request packet and we put a make a table source and destination of the packet okay so now we have s1 let's say d1 d2 d3 d4 four different destinations are there so 172.18.3.1 so not when it is sending the packet it puts here that okay this is the source and the destination is let's say d1 was x dot x1 dot y1 dot z z1 dot a1 okay this was and let's say let's put something so 205.26.3.1 so when the reply comes back from here so the source address is this and destination will be 200.24.5.8 but from this table now it will know that okay destination was this so your ip address to which i should return it is 172.18.3.1 okay so example let's say 172.18.3.5 is sending to d4 which has an ip address of 65.24.71.2 okay so when i send a packet again so the source will become that ip address of nat so source will be 200.24.5.8 but destination will be this but I will put an entry here 172.18.3.5 and here it will be 65.24.71.2. So when the reply comes back, source address is this. From the NAT table, I will find that, okay, this is the corresponding internal address to which I have to send and I will send. But the interest, uh, the users, the listeners might now ask me the question, let's say all the IP addresses, these two IP addresses are accessing Google, okay, because this is a gateway kind of thing, we all access this. Now, if both of them access google.com, then for both of them, the table, the destination will become the same, okay, so that will be a problem. Then this should fail, this table will fail because for both three, 1 and 5 it will be the destination will be google's ip address okay so now i cannot know okay should i send it to 172.18.3.1 or 3.5 okay so we should extend this table now let's try to see so first thing that we told that okay destination is this one source is this so what we do now first of all source was that of nap NAT address destination remains the same but I add this private address here and external address is this so when the reply comes back destination address is okay so that of NAT but I find from here that okay based on this source I know this was the one who requested the reply so the problem that I told that okay when two Na internal IP addresses or more than two are sending to the same server. So how will we manage? So now the table is extended and it has now five columns. So one is the private address as before 172.18.3.1 and 3.2. Let's say both have external addresses 25.8.3.2. So this is the and external port is this so they are talking to this using tcp protocol but what will happen is their client ports might be different because you choose from numbers from 1024 to 65000 something like that 2 to the power of 16 value 65565 something like that okay so this is the value this one 
so what happens now even when the reply comes so now i will see all these things so private port from which it was sent so now i can differentiate that okay so this when i send a packet so i write all these things okay so i will write that okay for this one the port number was this and external address was this and this was the port number so when the reply comes back so the destination port now becomes 1400 for 3.1 and for 3.2 it's 1401 so now again you will say that okay what might happen if both of them have port number as 1400 but now the probability of choosing from range of 1024 to something like 65k choosing same number will be very very less okay so you will not have collision as such okay so an isp and not let's say so what happened so i have thousand addresses okay an isp site and let's say it has four thousand ip addresses machines are there but it knows that and on average only thousand i machines are on at a one time so then what will happen it will just use these hundred so thousand ip addresses so this is about NAT. okay so it helps in what sense that even if you have one ip addresses outside for a nat router then also inside your campus you can have many different machines thousands of machines also and based on that NAT table it will be able to you will be able to contact but one important note okay that is that only when you initiate a client from inside the network private network if they initiate a request to google or any server then only your reply will be sent back but google or any other people cannot contact you inside to each person because they only know the outside address so I hope you understand this. Thanks a lot.